My name's Michael Glatzmeyer. In high school, they spelled that wrong on every award I got. They spelled it Michael Glatzmeyer, Michael Glatzmaker, or Tyler Anderson. I don't understand how they got that last one. My mom, she had five boys though, and she would always say she had one smart child. So part of me always was like, she must be hiding a sixth child somewhere. Cause I knew it wasn't me. It was like my parents messed up on four boys. And by the time they got to me, they thought this one can raise himself, which I think I did pretty well. You don't understand how difficult it is being a single father at five years old. I used to look up to my brothers though growing up. I remember one day my brother came up to me and said, hey Michael, you wanna have a roller skating race? But with our eyes closed? I was like, yeah I do. But what they don't warn you about roller skating with your eyes closed is sometimes a pole gets in your way. And a pole got in my way. When I woke up, my brother was standing above me. He looks down and goes, Michael, are you okay? I was like, yeah, but did I win? He's like, I don't know, my eyes were closed. <laughs> we made my mom mad so much. <laughs> Man, I remember one time we made my mom so mad. She got so angry that during dinner time, she grabbed all the chicken and threw it on the floor and was like, you can eat it off the floor or not eat at all. And I know some of you in the room right now are thinking, wow, your mom sounds mean. But at the time, all I could think was, at least she gives us choices. <laughs> Some people would have had to eat the chicken. I chose to eat the chicken. <laughs> and there's a saying I went by as a kid, and that saying is, it's flow chicken or no chicken. <laughs> and flow chicken is way better than no chicken. <laughs> Am I right, Gavin? <laughs> You just got brownie points with me. Five boys though. What went through my mom's head after having five boys? First child was she like, oh my goodness, look, it's a baby boy. Second child, oh my gosh, look, it's another baby boy. Third child, well, I was hoping for a girl, but I guess I'll keep this other baby boy. Fourth child, she's like, I've got bad luck, I've got bad luck. <laughs> By the fifth child, she's like, what did I do wrong? She's walking around the store, purposely trying to lose one child. <laughs> store clerk is like, ma'am, is this your kid? She's like, yes. I'm like, sorry, mom. Next time I'll tell them I'm Tyler Anderson. <laughs> I hated being the youngest of five boys. Man, it's true. Here's why I hated being the youngest of five boys. It's because by the time my mom got to me, she stopped taking baby photos because there was nothing I could do that she hasn't seen a baby boy already do. <laughs> one time I was like, hey mom, can I get a baby photo for show and tell? She's like, take one of your brothers, they won't know the difference. <laughs> Mom, look at me now, I made it, I'm in Utah! She was like, don't worry, they won't notice. I'm like, they're gonna realize when my baby photo says 1987 and my class was all born in 1990. But they couldn't tell, they just thought I was held back for three years. Which makes a lot of sense. Because a little bit about me is, I was in special ed and some people, they get offended when I talk about being in special ed. Me, I get offended I was put in special ed. Like originally, I was just there to help out. Then they thought, actually, you belong here. Found out they had weekly pizza parties and I was like, I do belong here. I mean, I'm okay with it. Growing up, all my friends' parents were like, when my kid's older, they're gonna be a doctor. 
And my parents were like, well, when my son's older, he'll be a patient. <laughs> hey, did you know Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Download it right now and you can watch my whole special.